A Benzie County community is questioning why its Coast Guard station was never staffed this summer. This comes after a boat capsized near Frankfurt last week. One person on board did not survive. Our Ellie Baxter has more on the impact of the staffing decision and took the community concerns to the Coast Guard for answers. The Coast Guard station here in Frankfurt has operated for over 100 years, but soon that operation turned from being fully staffed year-round to just seasonal to this summer not being staffed at all. Yeah, and that was uh, that was hard for us to adjust to because you're always, you know, used to reaching out to your partners and saying, "I need some help." With no more Coast Guard staffing, the Frankfurt Fire Department volunteers are the closest first responders for the beach and surrounding coastline. DNR, the um, Sheriff's Department boat will be called out as well, so it's going to impact us. I mean, we're all going to wind up going to be a little bit shorthanded because they're we're normally right there at the beach. Chief Mike Cedarholm says the impact was noticeable when recently a boat capsized near Frankfurt Beach. The Frankfurt Fire Department doesn't have a rescue boat to help because that's something the Coast Guard had. Would these situations have been different if we did have a Coast Guard here? I think that the response uh, time would probably been a lot quicker. Unfortunately, the Coast Guard, much like all the other branches, is suffering a bit of a recruitment issue. I spoke to Lieutenant Philip Gertler about the lack of staffing. He explains the Frankfurt station isn't closed, but they have reallocated staff to Manistee. So what we've decided to do with those seasonal stations is transition to them into what we're calling a forward operating location, or FOL. And what that means is we are not getting rid of the assets, we are not getting rid of the building, we are still maintaining it. So why shift staff away from Frankfurt? The lieutenant says it comes down to how busy the stations are and which ones overlap with coverage. We didn't kind of just throw darts on the board. There was a lot of thought and effort that went into this and is continuing to go into this to make sure that it is as efficient as possible. It's not just Frankfurt Station. The Ludington Station was not staffed this summer either, also falling under Bandistee's umbrella of responsibility. It will always be temporary. Um, once we have the numbers to return to the pre how we were in the past, that is the plan. Until they return, the Coast Guard has left a hole in the Frankfurt community. What can we do to make this better? Um, and if there's, you know, need assistance, that they need auxiliary personnel, you know, let's get the word on out and see what we can do to make a change. In ben if the Coast Guard does decide to add staff back to Frankfurt, that decision wouldn't be made until spring 2025.